Hello everyone. Welcome back to YD Geology Zone. So today we are going to add some layout view. In the layout view, we are going to add title, legend box, and north arrow and scale to our arc js map we have made in the last video so this is the part three of the arcgis tutorials from scratch for the beginners so let's open the arc map app arc map app or arc map software so it's opening it, it takes quite it's quite slow in my laptop because uh, old version laptop is old version that's why so okay so here we'll cancel it cross it then we'll go to file open as i told you last time we saved our file name tutorial of shape files i'm opening it and this is the files you have made it so whatever you can we wanted this file we don't want its work is over we have marked everything we will remove this now and for example we don't want to see like we can remove like or you can remove rivers or you can remove plants also or if you want everything plants you keep plants or if you want only plants and lake you can keep plants and lake or if you want plants rivers and lake you can keep anything okay depending on you now we will go to this area in the bottom side as you can see my cursor let me show you from marking it this here yeah. So this area is here having you can see this is showing layout view and data view. So data view is the view where you add your all data and you can see your all data. There is no limit you can extend anywhere here there you can go no problem okay. But in layout view you have a specific layout. So I am going to layout view. So this is a layout view. So there is specific layout for the map. This is the layout of our map okay. Here we, are, we have added our map. We will use the select tool now. So this is the select tool here. Already selected. This is the map. Now we will make it small because we need to add here our title and all. So this much is enough. And we will use our pan tool to make it properly arranged here. Yeah. This is arranged here. Okay. If it something happens to it, like if you zoom in, zoom out, something happens. So you just have to right click over here and go back to full extent. Go back to extent. Okay. Yeah, it will come here like this. Or you can use zoom whole page. It's right. Okay. So now we have to move this little bit down. I am using the select tool, select element tool, and I am making it down. So first we will add title. So to add the title, we need to go to is here insert option is there. We'll click, click on insert, and then here title option is there. We'll click on title, and then we will give it title. So this is a natural features. Natural features. A little bit okay. loading yeah so this is came over here and now we want to increase the size we'll right uh, right click on it properties change symbol you have to click okay now you have to select the size like i want it size should be 30 that to be bold and underline okay apply okay so it is bold with the font size of 40 and the style of Arial. Okay. So title is added. The next thing we have to add here is what we have to add the north arrow. So what makes a map map is that it should contain a north arrow, it should contain a title, it should contain a proper legend box with symbols and all. So we'll add that also. And we need this most important thing is scale also. So we have to add scale also. First we will add north arrow now. So I am clicking here on north arrow. So here is three north. I think this one looks better. Okay. This small you can increase it like this. Yeah. So north arrow is always on the right top corner. Okay. Do not forget this thing. 
north arrow is always on the right top corner right top corner okay and one more thing to notice this is you are doing under layout view okay in data view you cannot insert anything see it is showing painted you cannot click anything like need line legend and all you have to go to data view section only then only you can do all these things okay so we have added natural features and narrow north arrow now one more thing we will add that is scale we will go to insert scale bar and scale text i will suggest you always go with scale bar because when you print out the scale bar this is the scale the only scale that is a scale bar which have ability to change according to printing so we will go with scale bar always so whatever design you like you can choose any design so i am choosing the this design i love this design okay scale bar is over here but see you can see it's very small lines are here yeah and it is in the miles so we need in the in which format we need we need it in a meter format at least in a meter format so i will right click on the scale properties in scale and unit section here see division unit is given the miles is written here so we will change it to meters and the gap you can select is i say 3 apply okay yeah so scale is ready here the scale bar is ready so now the last and the most important feature that is legend box we'll go to insert we'll add legend so now there are some arrows you can see here right this one arrow means you have to add this one point two point so you can add same feature two times also see there are two legs now if you want to add reverse three times you can add three times but no use you have to add only single single times okay so this downside arrow means double arrow means you have to remove everything okay so in legend item this column this legend item column whatever will be in this column it will be in the screen in the legend box and this map layer these are the layers which are in your data view layer okay so what what you have to add it now we will see we have to add plants we will click here we have to add river we will click here we have to add lake we will click here so and the arrangement like which will be first which will be second it is on depending on this only so if if you want lake at the top you can add first lake then you want river then you can add river then you want to add plant then you can add plant so now you will click next here you can select size so i am clicking it as a 18 will be a good size bold yeah bold is okay then next 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 finish so it came up here yeah so here the name came up lake river plant if you want to change it some more you can change it properties under layout section if you want to change its rectangle it is now rect custom so you can change it to rectangle depending on you, you can change it to any different different features so this is under rectangle now it was custom now it is rectangle both look same right so this work we have done with the legend box added you can keep it near downside also below the map here we have enough space that's why we are making such big big things but you have to make it small not this big okay the scale we got it we have legend box we have natural features and we have we have the title of the map and we have north arrow okay one important thing we are missing here and i remember this thing the latitude and longitude values right the topo sheet you are using it was having latitude and longitude values so why not this have we will also add it so let me add it right. 
to make sure everything is under under this map you can select the longest feature like in in this file the river is the longest feature okay so you can click on the river and zoom to right click on the river and zoom to layer and it will show all the features coming over here if still something is left out you can go through this option that is fixed zoom out so that is zooming out in the particular ratio or you can use fixed zoom in okay this in this mode everything is coming in right yeah so in case if you want to make it more bigger you can make the decision box more down and now we can make it more bigger yeah this is okay yeah so now how to add latitude and longitude that is grid we call it grid system so we have to right click on this map this is called data frame okay this frame is called a data frame we will right click on this data frame properties and here grids is given see grids in the last corner so click on grid see it is empty now we will click on new grid and it's asking what you want to add so we say graphical divided divides map by median and parallel so we need this next so graphicals and labels so we need only labels graphicals means it will be like plus and minus i will show you and here it is showing here interval is asking how much interval like if it's a big map you should it is have it like very big amount so you can use minutes or degrees like division here we it's a small area and it's a very small scale we can use seconds only so 30 seconds is enough like the next next finish here we will click apply so see this is called a grid but grid won't look good here so we are we are removing the grid we will go to again properties this now here you can see in the grid option this graphical is there we will click on the properties intervals we can change if we want to change the intervals if we have took 30 so you can change it from 30 to something else but 30 is looking pretty fine so no problem right so now what we will do we will delete this remove grid option is there we will remove this grid we will add one more new grid this time we will we won't select that see here appearance only labels only we will select only labels only and interval is 30 30 seconds that is right apply okay so you can see here labels are there but it is very small we are unable to see them so we will change it again we will again go to properties change the size and style then grid option again we will go to properties labels here see label orientation vertical labels we want left and right to be vertical okay we will make it 12 that to bold apply okay apply okay so now we can see it right this is readable if we print it out we can read it so now we can say our map is totally ready to print out it contains everything whatever a person needs to understand the map so now how to export it first we have to save it file and save already file is there so it is automatic saved now okay so now we have to export it in the image format how to export it into the image format question number 2 we go to file here export option is there we will click on export map this feature will come <laughs> now it is asking save as type so we will want to save in the pdf format we will save it it got saved or else we want to save it in the image format if you want to upload it to your report pdf to a jpg is given tiff is given png is given so jpg jpeg save save so we'll close now our tutorial this and we'll go to this pc and this is my quick access tab are just there yeah here we can see our maps are here tutorial of shape this is the 
map we have created so see how good it is looking we have everything here right so this was the part three and the last part from scratch for beginners here we have learned georeferencing how to add coordinate system to the image how to add point feature polygonal feature or polygon feature how to export map how to export the final map along with the natural features legend north arrow and scale okay so this was for today i hope you have learned everything with this video and you will share it with all your friends who want to learn arcgis from beginning there is one more file which i want to show you that is pdf file this is tutorial of shape file and this is the pdf depending on whatever you want to for printing you can use this and for adding to your report you can use the image file maybe we can make it short this is how it is looking it looks pretty good so if you like the video and if you also you can subscribe the channel and if you have any doubts or any sort of clarification you need it still just comment me down i will reply as soon as possible so thank you for watching the video see you in the next video